Wow, explosive new leak conversation between two high-profile Democrats talking about election fraud in the Democratic Party. Nancy Pelosi says, I don't see a problem with it. So I'm going to play the uh, the whole thing. It's like four-minute conversation between a uh, uh, the number three Democrat in the country and um, and a progressive candidate running for Congress in the state of Colorado. Now, the progressive, when you hear progressive, the media is now trying to smear progressive as being socialist, right? But really progressive, when you hear progressive, if you think of anything other than uh, programs for people, the, the, the working class, that's what progressive means, right? It's not, it's not a, uh, it's not uh, socialism, the, the, the authoritarian Russian idea of socialism, right? That's not what it is. But people are saying it, right? So, but progressive, I know, because people that follow, people that, that identify as Republican don't look at the Democratic primaries and vice versa, right? But that's what it is, right? So, so anyway, so this, this audio came out, compliments of The Intercept, and uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty powerful. Let's listen, let's, let's check it out. So here's the article by uh, Caitlin Johnstone. She makes some good, good uh, summations, but we'll listen to the recording. And then we'll, uh, we'll we'll go forward. Pelosi, I don't see anything inappropriate about rigging primaries. <laughs> That's the new strategy, right? They got caught. So, so Intercept has published a secretly uh, secretly taped audio recording of one of the most prominent Democrats in the in America pressuring a progressive candidate to drop out of a Colorado congressional primary race. It hasn't been getting as much attention as WikiLeaks drop of the DNC's sabotaging of Bernie Sanders campaign because it's not a presidential race. But make no mistake, this is the single most damning piece of evidence ever published exposing the Democratic Party's war on progressives. Yeah, it is pretty damning because in it, what they did initially in the DNC fraud lawsuit is that they hid behind lawyers and said, oh, no, no. Those lawyers, uh, if they were our lawyers, we would have fired them. <laughs> they were their lawyers. And so they tried to hide behind a, a wall of lawyers. Now this evidence um, came out, and now you have Pelosi saying, no, 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 we rigged, we rigged the primaries. We rigged the fall in line. Fall in line. We rigged the primaries. We picked a candidate. The recording features House Minority Whip Steny Hoyer, the second highest ranking Democrat in the House of Representatives, informing primary candidate uh, challenger Levy Tilleman, uh, that if he runs, he will be running against not just the chosen establishment candidate, Jason Crow, but against Hoyer and the full might of the Democratic National Committee, the DCCC. Uh, so here's the recording. Here's the full transcript. Let's, uh, let's listen. Levi, I want to, obviously I want to talk to you about this congressional race. Absolutely. That's what I expected. Yeah. You would like me to get out of the race. You keep saying I would like you to get out. And of course, that's, that's correct. Yeah. And I know you're fundraising for Crow. Yeah. You know? I'm for Crow. I am for Crow because the judgment was made very early on. And it just made the decision. So your position is a decision was made you know, very early on before voters had a say. That's fine because that's the DCCC knows better than the voters of the 6th Congressional District, and we should line up behind that candidate. That's certainly the consequence of our decision. There are two things I'd like you to consider. One may be easier than the other. The first would be, uh, if you stay in the race, mm -hmm. frankly, I would hope you would not. I'll get to that. But if you stay in the race, it is not useful to the objective to tear down Crow. Mm -hmm. Crow's clearly the favorite. That doesn't mean you win. It just means he's the favorite. I hear you. That doesn't mean it's right. It just means no. no, I hear you. Right. I don't know Crow well, but I think he's a decent human being. So before we before we go any further on that, Crow is the favorite. N in no small part, Congressman Hoyer, because the DCCC not only put its finger on the scale, but started jumping on the scale very early on. And 
I'm born and raised a Democrat. I mean, it's undemocratic to have a small elite select someone and then try to rig the primary against the other people running. And that is, that is basically what's been happening. I hear you, and I disagree. But you were part of that process Absolutely. as well. You said absolutely. absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I've been at this a long time. Yeah. Uh, when I said you need to get in strong, hard, and early, you disagree with me. You know, obviously, that's your choice. And you guys are shoveling money at him. I'm going to continue. You're going to continue to do it? We are going to continue to do it. And the reason why we're going to do it is because a decision was made to focus, it was clear that was our policy and our hope that we could early on try to come to an agreement on a candidate that we thought could win the judgment mm -hmm. and to give that candidate all the help we could give them so that we would have a unified effort going into a general election. Which, which means effectively, Congressman Hoyer, I'm running a campaign against Crow and against you and against the DCCC because you guys are on Crow's side. Yeah, you know, frankly, that happens in life all the time. Wow, could it get any more clear? Holy shit. All right, so what did he do? He admitted the 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 the, the third, what is it? The, 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 the number two Democratic whip in the Congress is admitting that we pick the candidate despite what the voters say, right? So again, it's money in politics, right? How does that happen? Why is the the triple C allowed to do that, able to do that? Because they turn to the donors, and they and that's where the money comes down. So in their own admission now, right? So busted, right? No one's disputing the validity of this recording, right? In fact, they're doubling down on it, right? So this, but, uh, let's let's see what. Um, so there, so there you have it. This is uh, Caitlin Johnstone, the author of this uh, piece, talking. There you have it. It 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 simply doesn't get any more incriminating than a published recording of a top Democrat informing a progressive candidate that the party will be placing its thumb on the scale against its primary opponent if he doesn't drop out, get out. Or at least that's what uh, he. I would have thought. Here's Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi, the only House Democrat who outranks Hoyer, somehow surpassed the jaw-dropping revelation in the audio recording by giving Hoyer's actions her full-throated endorsement. Quote, Nancy Pelosi. I don't know that a person can tape a person without the person's consent and then release it to the press, Pelosi told reporters. I blame the, you know, now attack the messenger. Right? Attack the messenger. Don't, don't look at the message. Pelosi told reporters, it, quote, in terms of candidates and campaigns, quote, I don't see anything inappropriate with Mr. Hoyer who engaged in a conversation about the realities of life in the race as to who can make the general election, unquote. The realities of life, that is the reality of life for Democrats. So when they look into the camera and say, join our party, give money to the DNC, give money to the DCCC, support the Democrats, right? Well, you, what you're doing is you're throwing your money uh, away, basically, because the, the decisions are already made, right? Voting is, the, we vote on, on antiquated machines, right? It's it, it, well, look, the, the, to, to replace all of the rigged machines in this country would cost about $3 billion. Now, instead of, instead of building a wall for $10 billion, right, and wouldn't it be a smarter idea to actually have free and fair elections so that you get rid of these people? Where, where you get a paper trail where, like they do in Venezuela, out comes a receipt. You get a receipt for your, you vote, and boom, you got a receipt. You walk out the door. This is a, my vote. You leave a paper trail, right? But no, we don't have, uh, we don't have free, free and fair elections in this country. Uh, that's right. Instead of blaming this evidence on Russian hackers, Democratic Party leadership has opted to try a brand new approach. They're openly admitting to knowingly rigging their primaries against progressive candidates and saying that it's, it's the right thing to do because that's how you win general elections. But they don't win general elections because they don't care to win general elections. Caitlin Johnston goes on to say it. 
Uh, so to recap, the leadership of the Democratic Party is no longer attempting to hide the fact that it deliberately stacks its own primaries against progressive progressive candidates, and yet still has the goal to act like they're, they're the smart adults in the room. These are the same people who think telling the public, screw primaries, you'll vote for how we say, is sheer strategic brilliance. The same people who lost over a, th- a thousand seats under Obama. The leaders of the Democratic Party may be experts at defeating progressive primary challenges. Bernie Sanders, Tulsi Gabbard, Elizabeth Warren are considered progressive candidates in the eyes of the corporate Democrats. That's who they'll attack. Why? Because their policies are for the people, and all of the other candidates, their policies are for the oligarchy, just like the Republicans. So you can either vote Republican or Democrat, and you get the same result, or you could vote progressive Right. Well, we're defining as progressive, and then you get you get um, you get policy for the people. Right? It should be policy for the people, not progressive. Right? As a new phrase, the policy policy for the people party. Right? Winning general elections is not their concern. Kaylin Johnston goes on to say, "No, it's not. It never was. Right? Again, they'd rather lose to Trump than win with Bernie Sanders. Because if they lose to Trump, the oligarchy is." supporting both sides of the, the, the equation, right? They have money on, if they think the Democrats are going to win, they'll, they'll put money on Democrats. If the Republicans win, that's okay. They just shift the money to the Republicans and they get the same result, right? They get the same result, Democrat, Republican. The, the challenge, the real um, populist movement is this undersurgence of, of independent, democratic, progressive, you know, Policy, policy for the people party, right? That is the, the undertone where 70% of the country wants universal single-payer health care and, and 99% of the, the elected officials don't want it, right? How, how does that work? How does that happen? So, uh, so last year, so blah, 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 blah. what else we got here? Since power is relative and America has a system wherein wherein money translates directly into political plow, power, a, pure, a pu, pu, putocratic class has emerged, which is naturally incentivized to keep the rest of America as poor as possible in order to rule like kings. The plutocratic class wields immense political influence over both parties with legalized bribery in the form of campaign contributions and corporate lobbying. While the, while the deliberately impoverished majority of Americans have no influence whatsoever over U.S. policy and behavior, regardless of how they vote, right? regardless of how they vote, right? this is the message of our time. Right? And now we've always known it, but now this, this recording is pretty good because now it's, it's ongoing uh, proof that that's what's going on. Right? No joke. One more. Americans are manipulated into supporting this extortion scheme of corporatist oligarchy by a plutocrat owned media propaganda system. Right? So it's extortion, it's a scheme, it's corporate oligarchy, and it's fueled by the media. The fake news media funds it, fuels it, runs it, talks about it, promotes it, propagandizes it. Um they use fear and divisiveness to herd them into one of two plutocratic-owned mainstream parties, both of which place the interests of their corporate owners above the interests of the people, and even over winning. They don't care who wins. It doesn't matter who wins. That's the point. Right? If, you, if you're picking, for example, Joe Biden and Donald Trump, you're going to get the exact same result, the same policy, the same you know, incrementalism, the same, nothing for the people, everything for the, the corporate uh, tycoons. Pro- progressives have been successful c- corralled, cr- successfully corralled into the donkey party <laughs> by using the carrot of someday, maybe, hopefully, having some kind of economic justice and the stick of, but Trump. But the donkey party is the elephant party with a different mascot and different bumper stickers. Uh, so that's that's pretty powerful stuff. Thank you, Kaylin Johnstone, for your narrative, and thank you uh, for for the, the leaker. What's his name? The, the 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 congressman, congressman. What's his name? Congressman Hoyer. What's his name? Yeah, 
yeah, Hoyer. Oh no, Levy Tilleman. Levy Tilleman. Thank you, Congressman. Almost Congressman Levy Tilleman. Keep keep plugging, man. We're gonna get there. Right? So it's pretty powerful, right? You know, there's no there's no there's no evidence better than when you hear it right out of the horse's mouth. Pelosi doubled down, so it's a, it's a real recording. Um, they're not denying that that's what he said. They're justifying. Say, oh no, no, that's the way it goes. I don't know. See, we're the, we we know better than you. We can't let people vote because if they voted, if we let people actually vote and counted those votes, then then they don't know what they're doing because they don't have their finger on the pulse like we do. See, they, we take the money from the oligarchy and we know and, and we deliver the favor to the oligarchy, and that money is going to trickle down to you someday. But meanwhile, all the money goes offshore and it gets gets stashed, right? So, good stuff, man. Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly become a Patreon of this channel and uh, maybe a one-time Patreon, a uh, one-time PayPal uh, contribution. You could also buy these stickers on eBay. This one's the new one. This is the uh, classic one. All right, and uh, just Marcus Conti, search for engine Marcus Conti uh, sticker on eBay and you'll find it. And if you become a Patreon or PayPal, I'll get you free stickers as long as you include your Include your mailing address. Marcus Conte reporting.